Larry Smith Outdoors is brought to you by Warrior Boats, Vortex, Mike's Country Meats, Bartline Barrels, Leroy Meats, Tubble Towels, Magic Products, Easy Loader Trailers, and Heavy Shot. So remember like I always say, it's a great day to be alive. A little Mags, a little Larry Smith. Look at that. Hunter, what do you think? It's beautiful. Let's go catch some fish. Hmm. Ride in the brand new truck, the Mags Mobile. It's uh it's about five months old. Yeah. Must be nice to be rich. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Yeah, oh, my Lord, watch me sway. Darkness falls and we all pray. Hoping for the light of day. Down to the river, I have held the devil's hand. Felt the weight of my own sin. Burdened by the heart of man. Down to the river, down to the river. I'll tell you what, everybody, welcome back to our show this week. We're up here in Ashland with our good friend Tommy Hicks from Beyond the Catch. You know, this is such an incredible area to fish. You know, it doesn't matter if you're fishing walleyes, pike, trout. You know what, Tommy has definitely got this dialed in up here. And today we're basically setting up right away and we're going to do a little fishing here for browns and splink. The bite me box, I don't even have all three of mine in already. That is the amazing part about these tip-ups. I'm telling you, you were a non-believer, Hunter Flanders. Yeah, I'm pointing at you. I'm not pointing at you guys. I'm pointing at him, right, Mr. Non-Believer. Ooh, I love that stuff. Oh, I'm just nervous with that little 20 hook. I've never caught a trout on such a small hook. Here we go, folks. Doesn't feel real big, but see what's. Tommy's still setting up gear. Oh, oh. Whoa. oh, a lamprey. Dude, a lamprey. Yes, hey, give me some. <laughs> Shotgun Schaefer. That is a score. That is a score. Oh, oh. <laughs> you guys, you guys keep digging. <laughs> I got bite me boxes up like crazy. <laughs> you just stay over there. <laughs> I love starting the day off like this. Let's see this. Oh, look at this. These things are fish catching machines, dude. Number two for Lela. Oh, ooh, that's a big one. fishing up here I'll tell you that there's something about coming up to Ashland and coming out here and fishing for trout I'll tell you these are the first ones that we've caught on the bite me boxes but the, look at that oh man not even don't even have them all in the water hey I'll tell you what Tommy that is a nice place well, I can't for even sure. get set up You're that's what, I love to see that I turned I turned around I went to set my third bite me up and uh, this the middle one was up 
And then we caught that brown over there with the lamprey, and then all of a sudden, I got a nice flake. And That's I'm like, a nice flake, yeah. You can yeah. see they start to get that long straight head on them when they get a little bigger. And your dad said there's a lot to have in the wind too, huh? Wind is good. Yeah, just like trolling. Right. You know, think when we're trolling trout out here, shallow, and it's dead calm out. It's not the best. Not that you're not going to have good days doing it, but on average, it's not the best situation. I think people don't really think about like wind affecting water underneath the ice, but it's huge. Oh, it time. is, yeah. no doubt. All right, dude. Awesome. Let's um, do it. Good start. They want gold. We're giving them gold. I'm going with the flutter. Hooked up! Hooked up! Hooked up! Let's go get it! Holy cats, I'll tell you what! I got it going now, buddy. Two in about two minutes. Let's see what we got here this time. That one came flying right at. Oh, there we Ooh, go. Splake. Little splaker! Little variety easy, there. Easy, 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 cool. easy. No, splakes got to be how big? For they got to be 15. So okay. These are just little. There's a bunch of planted ones up here this year. But I would normally start up in that, you know, real shallow stuff, whatever, 14, 13 feet. And, and then, then fish kind of just work their yep. way out. Oh, we got a flag. Game on, boys. Get her, pack, get her. Pack, come on. Pat, you can set that one. He's on there. Got him? Beautiful. Me and Larry got out there. Another little, little splake. Beautiful. Like I just said to one of Larry's, we have a ton of this year class, which is good for the future of the uh, bay for sure. I went to a little bit bigger bait, so I went to my medium. He's in about a half inch swim bait. Uh oh. My knot. So I'm using a 36 inch medium. That's perfect for like one eighth to half ounce swim baits. I pretty much match my rod with the bait I'm using. Because even if I'm using a medium light, I can catch a 20 pound fish on it. But if I'm using a lighter bait, I want to use my medium light, you know, like one eighth or less. And then heavier than that, I use my up to one, uh, one half, I'll use my medium. And then when I'm going like up to three quarters, seven eighths, I'll run my mags medium. So, that'll be a good one to keep. La 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 la, la 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 la. That's a Pat's mark and he thinks, he thinks they're whitefish. Have a seat, man. Let's go get a tip up. I just missed him on my bite me box. Let's see if you can get him. You get him? Yep. Oh, good man. He's probably got a minnow in his ball. Actually, Larry, this is a nicer fish. It is, huh? Yep. You want to get in there, Pat, and help him out? Larry, nice Blake. Nice Blake. I love to hear that. So you've barely been able to keep up with these rods. Yeah, we've been busy. That is a nice one. Wow, that is a nice flake. That. Very just nice. Just like the one you got earlier, that flat head on him. That is a real nice Pretty fish. Good. Oh, and they are the slipperiest thing in the bay, that's for sure. They're tasty too. That is. 
one awesome fish for the grill right there. That's where she's going, my friend. That one had some serious pull. It did, huh? Yeah, yeah it looked like you were they fighting fight. it pretty good. They could fight. That's the great part about coming up here by Tommy Hicks is he's very mechanically inclined. What we're doing is putting a new mount on my snowmobile. Um, this is a, a digger mount for my auger. And then Tommy's going to put a tub on the back of mine so I'm not really dragging anything anymore. we got work to do. Let's get her done. Hey, do hey, let's crack a beer first. Let's have a beer. Let's have one beer. We're home. We can have a beer. All right. We got some news for Ashland people though. We are going to be having some of your rods. Sounds oh, yeah. like in uh, River Rock Inn and Bait Shop. River That's Rock, a good yeah. deal. Yeah, Scotty's going to start carrying them. So we when we come up here. Tommy, what's your prediction for this morning? Uh, Lair, we'll be having a country fried steak about 10.30. Oh, I like to hear that. Well, I'll tell you what, everybody, what a beautiful way to start off the day. It's just starting to get light, and it's absolutely awesome out. Very light wind today. We're fishing in an area that has got a lot of potential for some big fish, and I'm super excited, so hang on to your hands. Last time, he just got the minnow. I mean, let's want to open this up and see that spool just spinning. Nope, same thing. Just barely bumped it. What's going on here? Right there's the weight. Oh, no, he's there. Oh, he's, he is there. God, there's something. Oh, now he's getting bigger. Holy cats, yeah, I'll tell you, he didn't, certainly didn't go very far. Wow. Senior. Pat, game on, Tommy. He just came right in, huh? His head shakes. Pat, what do you got going here? I don't know. What rod you got? Little bro. I got 36 inch meter. Nope, it's Blake. Yep. Using a 36 inch medium lane, I got a quarter inch uh, darter head jig with a little swim bait on there. Built for fishermen, built by fishermen, um, really that says it all. It's the family here, it's, it's not a big, big conglomerate, it's a family. They treat you, you feel like you're in a family, you know. When you put those two together, an amazing product and amazing people, it's just the type of company you want to be involved with. Not only because of just the great boats, but because of the camaraderie that the Warrior family has. The customer service is amazing. Uh, they never leave you hanging. So come join the Warrior family. Are you tired of dealing with frozen tip-ups? Check out the heated Bite Me Box tip-up with ultra-sensitive adjustable bite settings. No more cleaning out iced up holes. False wind trips are a thing of the past with our windproof flag. Interchangeable extra reel assembly. Great for panfish and all big game fish species too. If you want to catch more fish with less hassle, check out our products and video demonstrations online at boxtipup.com. Come on, he's on fire. Do you see that rig he's got? He's using a double, double rig. Huh? He's using a double rig. Need help, care? 
Nice job. Was that on the top one too? No, I was on the bottom one. Okay. I just want to talk a little bit about how we're kind of jigging a little technique we're doing. The biggest thing I notice out here with clients is, you know, a lot of people, they just want to fish really slow and they're kind of used to that inland, the crappie, the walleye bite. With these trout, and especially how we're you know, on Superior, we're making these fish chase. We're fishing a tight bank, they're aggressive, they're on here feeding, that's the reason why they're on this bank. And I'll tell you, using this FLX30 today, I didn't even get one because they sold out so quick this year, which is a good thing. But Larry brought one up and being able to change that frequency going up and down this reef from, I've been in 18 feet and I've been in 62. Dialing in the, the different frequencies, I'm in 180 right now. Just to be able to get that bait smaller, you know, a big thing on some of the other zooms on even the 24, or to, sorry, the 28 or the 18. When you get in real deep water, your bait looks real big. Where with this 30, you can dial that frequency and it kind of, you'll be able to tell the size of the fish and the size of your lure again, like being in shallow waters. Definitely been able to help us out. Hey, I'll tell you what, I'm hooked up, senior. Feels like a good fish. Boy, he came in on that FX line and just smashed it. Yeah, I don't know. Man, oh man, he definitely feels great on this custom rod from Mags, too. I'm loving that. Can't quite see him. He's got to be getting close. Oh, he's definitely got some pump to him for sure. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he was. There he goes. <laughs> oh, he is not happy at oh, all man. with me. He's a scrapper. <laughs> Here, buddy. Oh, he is. He, he is him. not happy with me at all. Yeah. Tell you what, Pat, this rod feels absolutely is that awesome. That's the one you took from Tommy. Yeah, it is. Well, he took mine. Yeah. Right? There he goes. Woo! Here, nice! Woo! I love a net. Whoa! That was an awesome, Ooh. awesome, whoa, awesome battle. Man, oh man, it's hard to believe how good these fish fight, isn't yeah. it? That is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful trout right there. I seen that fish come screaming, and again, I did the same thing, just kept reeling and reeling and reeling. Woo! I want that lucky penny on Yeah, I pocket. know it. Wow. I'm loving this, for sure. Woo! I'll tell you what, if you're looking for a custom rod, you definitely want to check out Meg's. Man, oh man. Love the looks of this rod, but the action is incredible. This might be another brown, huh? Oh, absolutely. I didn't think I didn't think it was getting one, the one way he hit it. Here, out here, you never know what it is. You're about tuckered him out here. Yeah, I'm open. He's about getting me tuckered. That's two in a row right there. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 same, ho, ho, same. ho. Woo! Same fish as the last I'm one. loving this. There, there he is. There he is. Come here, buddy. Woo! Yeah! Feeling two in a row. Man, oh, man. I'll tell you what. I just got this one right here. I'm going to get him. That is what it's all about, about coming up here to Bayfield, Ashland. This is probably my favorite part of the state right here. And you wonder why, because when you're looking at fishing like this, you know, and that's kind of like Carrie was just saying, that, you know, really Lake Superior and this whole thing, it's not just about the trout and the salmon. You guys got some of the best smallmouth fishing in the country, yep. incredible Northern fishing. You know, I mean, there's just so much to do up here which is very, very cool. I'm loving that. Wow. I'll tell you what, my morning started off slow, senior, yep. but she's definitely You're kicked, in, kicked in full gear now. <laughs> what do you got there? The trophy. The trophy. The big fish of the trip. Oh, huh. Lord, look at that. I'm going to have to definitely put that in the back of the truck Lake on the way home. Right. Lake Superior Crystal. I'll take it. Huh? I'll take it. Thank you. I'll, I'll take right any trophy. You know what? I was racing motorcycles. I had a few trophies, but nothing this big. You know, no first place trophies for sure. That's a first place. <laughs> hey, we certainly had an incredible time the last two days, and I appreciate that for sure. We want to thank uh, definitely Kerry for uh, letting us come sure. off of his host today too. Another, you, we got to talk about Kerry real quick. Yeah. So we've seen in the past on years we get storms and uh, we got a big lake here. It's definitely a hard lake to check ice. And the pilot that Kerry is, he's brought us up in that plane to check ice, you know, and we haven't really felt comfortable on foot or on machines and what a help. I tell you, we've learned a lot in the air. So well, big thanks to him, not only for the house, but uh, 
keep us safe out here too. So. Yeah, and that is kind of the great part about Wisconsin, especially this part of Wisconsin, is that there is so many really good people. Yeah. That's what I yeah, love sure. about the outdoors sure. and people that enjoy the outdoors. So, and let's tell them how they can get a hold of you because they're definitely going to want to come up to Ashland and yeah. enjoy some incredible fishing that you have. For sure. We got a couple days left this year. Uh, you can give me a call 715-292-4342. You can find us on Facebook, Beyond the Catch. Uh, you can email me too at trollandtommy at hotmail.com. Awesome, Tommy. Appreciate that. Hey, I'll tell you what, Tommy. That's a great sweatshirt you got on there, Meg's Custom Rods. But you know what? Make sure people, they check out our clothing line too because we have some really cool clothing. And check out our podcast, We Eat Fish Eat, every Tuesday. Yep. You know what? Yep, We've, sure. We even had you on there not too long cool ago. Stuff on there. I've been listening. Hey, you know, the other great part is that we're into a new year right now. Hey, and we new year, you know what that brings? Big news. We went national with our show, so check us out on the Outdoor Sportsman's channel. Uh, we're on four days a week. You can go on our website, Larry Smith Outdoors, and check out all the times on that. And of course, all of our other affiliates that we have, and along with the YouTube channel. Hey everybody, like I always say, the most important things in life are no doubt be damn proud to be an American and remember we're living in the greatest country in the world still and it is a great day to be alive and we'll see you next week. With our good friend Tommy Hicks from behind, with our good friend Tommy Hicks, with, with our good friend Tommy Hicks. A Spice Girl ride. What's going on? The attitude is real, Hunter. The man can fish, but for God's sakes, don't give him a Milwaukee drill <laughs> and a sharp bit because he will like lighten your machine up like no tomorrow. Apparently he's never heard the rule that you measure twice, <laughs> cut once. Ice Team Pro? Uh -uh. How long did it take you to get on the second page? It took a while.